Hey guys, it's Jess, and this is my fifth attempt at trying to make this video. For some reason, I can't say what I want to say or it doesn't come out right, and I just feel like I'm confusing you guys, so hopefully the fifth time will be the charm. Um, I am- this video is going to be an update, I guess, on my Clawesia Pierre Corre, correct? Who knows? Um... If you guys did see my last haul by Catacetum.com, Stephen Moffat, Stephen Moffat, yeah, one of the two, um, I did get four orchids by him, and one of them was, it looked like it was rotted, or the bulb was rotted, or in the process of rotting, and I think I have a week with these orchids, I'm not sure, I think I do have a week with them already. Um, that week I've been having them, the leaves of this one started to turn yellow, like it was ready to go into dormancy. So yesterday, last night, I pulled all the leaves out because it was, I guess, time for it to lose its leaves. And I also wanted to see how extensive the rot was. When I pulled out the leaves, you can kind of see here like the brown part of the of the new bulb that's like it looks like it's the leftover part of the leaf so for me it looks like the bulb itself wasn't rotted it was just the leaves so this orchid is definitely going to be set back the next time it grows a new bulb the bulb won't be as big as the old one right here. It'll probably be between maybe this one and this one. Or who knows, maybe I'll grow it this size. But I don't really think it's going to grow that big. Just because we did set it back. And the new video Astrid put out about like some new catacetums. And her updates how it's doing. She did say that she kept not watering but spritzing the the roots of the new catacetums she got this year like when they were dormant because she still felt like they were growing so I still think this one has a potential to grow so what I'm doing is I'm spraying the orchid the orchid's roots I want to keep the moss um, moist just because if it does end up growing It'll have water. Um, I don't know if hopefully this orchid doesn't die. Just because I don't know if it has enough energy to go into dormancy again. And this little bulb probably doesn't have a lot of energy. Hopefully it'll surprise us. And it does. But this is what's been happening for a week now. Yeah, hopefully, I've been wanting the Clawesia Pierre Carre, so hopefully it doesn't die, because at least, you know, let me nurse it back to health, but we'll see. I'll try to update you guys to see what's happening. I will keep um, an eye out on the base of the, of the bulb, just so I know it's not rotting. It does, I feel like it does get a lot of ventilation. Um, I have my fan on a lot. Yeah, most of the time you're in my room, and night it's definitely on, so I feel like it shouldn't rot, but who knows. I am giving this orchid less light, and I am making sure that the moss is moist, and the roots still look viable, like they're not, they haven't died, I mean there's no reason why they should die. The leaves are the only things that got affected. But yeah, I'll g keep you guys updated on it. And because I feel bad that I haven't uploaded in a week or so, um, I will probably do a double upload tonight or today. Yeah, whenever you view it today. Um, so keep an eye out for the next video. Yeah. Thank you guys. And please remember to leave a like. Bye guys.